when it's in focus. Mm -hmm. All right, hi, this is Frank Burke with Dinosaur Rocketry, and I'm going to do a quick little tutorial on loading the 18 millimeter Aerotech D 2.3 rocket motors for my rocket glider kits. These are an end burning Blue Thunder motor, and it's got a little slot on one end. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. And um, that's the end that's going to go toward the nozzle, and the igniter is going to go in there. And that gives you a little kick off the pad and then it burns straight through to the end. Now every once in a while these liners are a little bit hard to get into the casing and you'll need to take an X-Acto knife and get it under one of these little seams and just peel the very thin outer layer off so it can insert. Um, these come with the propellant already in the liner and with a little spacer tube on the end with the slot. And again that's going to go on the end with the nozzle. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lube the two O-rings. The skinny one goes on the nozzle end. The fat one goes on the front end. Now this is different than the 24 millimeter glider motors in that the forward end is actually removable. This is the standard casing and it has a plugged forward closure. It doesn't have a hole in it and we don't have an ejection charge. So what I'm going to also do is I'm going to put a little grease on the forward closure there as well. So to load these, basically I've lubed the cardboard and I put, you put lube on the front end, the part without the slot, so in case any fire was to go up one of these little spirals it wouldn't start the motor burning from the top end. So I'm going to lay the fat o-ring on there and then I'm going to slide this up into the casing. It's a little bit snug but Still okay. So I'm going to take my nozzle now, lay it on the cardboard liner, and push it in part way. So you can see the um, O ring, the fat O ring is up in there. So next I'm going to put the front closure on. These threads are very, very thin, and you want to be very, very gentle when you're loading these. You want to go backwards a little bit, just like you were threading a fine screw. Make sure that it starts before you start cranking it down. Now the other main thing, so now I'm going to put my nozzle in and I'm going to push it in all the way till it stops. Take my nozzle back out. Now the thing is I found problems getting this into the nozzle set into the right place in the notch with the motor already assembled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this into the nozzle and very carefully push it till it goes through all the way. But they're very snug. Okay, so you can see that that moves. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that end of the igniter goes down into the slot and stays there. So I'm going to hold it vertically, then put my o-ring on, then take my rear closure, slide on, and I'm going to go backwards with it until I feel it kind of clunk in place and make sure it screws in without any resistance. Okay, and I'm going to clean that off so I get the grease out of there. Okay, then the other thing is you need to make sure that the uh, igniter isn't going to just pop out when it starts because they only come with one and these igniters are very expensive and I don't normally stock them because they're like three dollars each so treat those with care. So I put a little masking tape on one side wrap it part way over the nozzle, which will hold the igniter in place, and on the other side, and then this will also be your friction fit to hold it into the model. So now I'm going to stick this into the end of the nozzle and make sure the tape kind of goes into the tube. That makes sure the rocket isn't going to fall out. It holds the tape in place and everything's ready to go.